Jeremy Weiss here. We're here with Rajat. And to tell you a little bit about him, he got his master's at Stanford University. He worked at Amazon, another startup in Seattle. Over the past couple of years, they've registered 1.2 million businesses for their company, Social Apps HQ. You know, their products are awesome enough to compete with enterprise offerings while keeping the cost low for small businesses and medium-sized businesses. That's what makes it so great. But they have worked with large clients like PayPal, Intel, IBM, Papa John's, Foster's Beer, Hard Rock Cafe, and many more. So I know we get a lot of comments from people and tons of ideas. They don't know where to start. They're trying to do a side business with a full-time job, family possibly. They may have the fear of their friends and family seeing the business fail. So Rajat is a perfect person to talk about to us about how do we go from having an idea to making our first sale and starting a company. Rajat, thanks for coming on. Thank you, Jeremy. Thanks a lot for having me here. Um, Tell so us about the story, how you first got your first sale. So, you know, for us it was a lot of luck. So we built out a welcome app, and uh, and it just went gangbusters. Um, we basically emailed everybody initially, but then we were emailing all the artists and musicians, and we email Win Diesel and uh, his, um, you know, the company that manages it, and they basically put our, use our app to on the Facebook page. And Win Diesel is like the biggest page of the pages in Facebook. And from that point on, it just got started. Um, and you know what, I moved back to India, and I was scared shitless, because I was like, if I don't make enough money, I'm getting traffic, but if I don't make enough money, my parents will force me to get a job. Right. So I just put a PayPal button saying, hey, if anybody pays me $5, I'll be more than happy, and, you know, that will be good enough to get started. And on the first day, uh, you know, we were getting a lot of traffic. So on the first day of putting a PayPal button, we got, like, five sales, $25, and the story just got started from there. So tell me about, I know you built this welcome tab, <laughs> And it it just went viral and yeah. busters. But talk about went, yeah. what you started with and what happened with that, with the travel. So, yeah. So one of the you know one of the key things uh, for me, I've been you know I've been dreaming about starting a company for a long, long time. Um, so when it came when the point came, I said, okay, fine. You have to. I want to do something. I have a lot of ideas over the years. So let me ju just do a quick prototype. So I built a travel-related uh, product, showed it to friends, showed it, you know, did a little bit of marketing, realized that people are not really getting excited. So you know, it just took a week or two of work to get that thing out. Uh, realized within a month it's not working, and then you know, I built out this welcome app and really just went gangbuster. So one of the key things I learned is doing a quick prototype and finding someone to pay you a dollar who is not your friend and family. And if you can do that, that that's amazing. Just, you know, the things just get started from there. So you went from your first sale. You got you put that PayPal button up. Now, tell us a story of how you got your biggest sale. So fast forward a little bit. So, you know, six months back, like one and a half year into... Uh, being in the company, um, we got an interesting customer coming from Iraq who said they have telephone international calling cards that they want to sell and they wanted to run a campaign. Uh, for us, it was a very, very interesting customer because A, he was from Iraq where we had never spent any time focusing on marketing. We thought we are always focused on U.S. and U.K. Um, so I realized that it was the, it was a huge customer for us. They, they bought our most expensive package. They wanted to promote, uh, so they spent uh, gave us a lot huge budget to manage the advertising campaign. Um, but also on the other front, we realized that you know this whole new market is opening up because people are opening up to these this new channel, this new opportunities. 
and since then we have started focusing on that market and we are under discussion with a company which may actually just double our revenue um, in the next few months. Wow, that's amazing. That's a so, so this is great. This is it's inspiring. It's inspiring. But what the audience is thinking? What should I do right now? So what's one thing the audience should do right now to get started on their idea, whether they're working it on the side or at a company? What should they do right now to get started? I think you know if you have an idea, just build a quick product. Uh, you know, spend a week. Um, if you are working in a company, talk to your manager, take a month's leave, uh, build that product, and get somebody to pay for it. Even if you get a dollar out of that whole exercise, I think that's great. If you are not able to get a dollar, then you should quit that idea and move on. But without doing it, you will never know. So you have to do it, and you will know very quickly. And I'm, I, I can bet if you make one dollar from someone that you don't know already, you will most likely leave your job and start doing it full time. Yeah, I love it. Thanks for the word of advice because I know it's a scary thing to to do to get over that hump. And so you're saying just just build that that small prototype and get someone to pay for it early on to get that traction. Now, Roger, how um, can people reach out to you and thank you for for the great stories? Uh, I'm at Social Apps HQ. Uh, you can reach me out there. Um, my email is rajat, R-A-J-A-T, at socialappshq.com. Great. Is there anything you want to tell the audience? Because I'm sure a lot of people have small, medium-sized businesses about that they should know about Social's app, uh, HQ. We help you get ROI. ROI <laughs> uh, a lot of people question that, but you can actually get a lot of good leads, a lot of business from this channel. And especially for SMBs, uh, you know, we have all the products for you. We have done a lot of case, case studies for you. Just read up the material on the website, and you're going to love it. If you have questions, I'm just an email away. Awesome. Thank you. And I know that they have even some free options, which they're so generous to offer. And if not, you should just go check out their page because their layout and the way they structure everything is great. And they they test it. They're all about monitoring. So they know what they're doing. So thank you, Rajat. I appreciate your time. Thanks a lot, buddy.